Most cruise line destinations involve the ship tying off at a pier and guests walking right onto dry land. Some destinations, however, can't accommodate large ships, especially megaships that are popular today. In those cases, guests do something called tendering. We'll explain what tendering is, review the tendering process, and tell you what you should keep in mind for your next cruise. For destinations unable to accommodate larger vessels, ships anchor offshore, usually less than a mile. Guests then transfer to smaller boats, sometimes called tenders, launches, or water shuttles, which take everyone ashore to a dock. Though years ago at Great Stirrup K, tenders used to pull right up on the beach. Now tendering is especially common at small islands like Great Stirrup K or Holland America's Half Moon K. Other ports, however, do require tendering, like Grand Cayman, one of the most popular destinations in the Caribbean. Now, the process and type of boat vary depending on the ship and the port. Lifeboats are often used as tenders, uh, and even some like Edge and Norway many years ago carry their own tenders. In the case of Edge, they're actually really large lifeboats that just have extra accommodations and are more comfortable. Other times, tenders are provided by local companies or the Port Authority. They offer large capacities and can carry many more people ashore at once, speeding up the process a bit. Now, tendering can be neat. It offers great views of the ship, and it's kind of a unique experience for many. It can also slow down the process of going ashore and coming back. Larger ships often offer tender tickets. Now, these are complimentary. There's no charge for tender tickets, contrary to the name, but they're used to spread out guest load and reduce wait times. So you might get a ticket to meet at a certain place at 11 o'clock to go to shore. Guests staying in suites or those with ship-sponsored excursions usually get priority tender access or tender tickets. This is one of the things to consider when evaluating shore excursions. We'll put a link below to more tips on selecting shore excursions. An explanation of the tendering process and ticket di distribution will be provided in the daily program that's put in your room the day before your arrival at that port. Now, smaller ships, or those with fewer guests, don't use tender tickets, but the very first tender of the day may still fill up. Expect a short wait in that case. A common concern is that the process is hard, going from a ship that's pretty stable in the water to a smaller boat that's bobbing up and down can be difficult for some, but there's plenty of help available, including help for those in wheelchairs or with other mobility issues. Just be sure to communicate, let them know as soon as you queue up or even beforehand. Don't worry about motion sickness though. Even if you are affected by the movement of a smaller boat, the ride is usually less than 10 minutes. So any unpleasantness you do suffer will be very short-lived and you'll be thinking about your destination before you know it. Returning to the ship is often a lot easier. The docks aren't in open water and in some cases they're actually in a protected harbor, so there's a lot less movement up and down as you're boarding or transferring onto the tender. If you do have concerns about motion sickness on the rest of your cruise though, check the other link below with tips to help make sure that the motion of the ocean is a non-issue on your cruise. Now, speaking of movement, it is true that high winds or rough seas can sometimes make tendering too dangerous and just not feasible. A ship may end up skipping a port or change the itinerary order to ensure that everyone's safe and comfortable. This is important to keep in mind. One, because it's outside of the cruise line's control. They want to make sure that everyone is safe. But two, as you're planning your cruise, you may want to avoid scheduling events like destination weddings, for example, at tender ports, because there's a much higher chance that you'll miss those than ports where the ship docks. Thank you so much for watching. I hope tendering is a bit more clear now, and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, do me a favor, it would mean the world to me. Click subscribe and click a little bell so you're notified when the additional videos come out. If you didn't like it, maybe you could do the same thing. Maybe you'll like the next one more. For more tips, be sure to check out the first timer section on cruisehabit.com. We've got lots of info for you there. If you have questions, reach out on social media as well as on the Cruise Habit message boards. It's a great place to talk ship. Thanks.